Welcome to race number seven here at Pigs Creek Super Speedway. The A truck of Jaron Calpitan and uh, Francis Hawes in a 20 starting on the front row. And here's the full qualifying results. You know, I've been thinking, like, you know what? It's our last season St for for, for all the entire Super Speedway division. We shouldn't go our separate ways. We should have them all in the same weekend. All in the same weekend, although the Walmart series will have one extra race alone. And that's about it. So we're going to share the weekend all the way through. Here is the race command. Without further ado, let's get this race started. Drivers, start your engines. And the engines have fired up. I probably shouldn't have said that. It's been real, real long since we've been here at Pigs Creek Super Speedway, a 4.1 mile super speedway in Brampton, Ontario. Yes, we're in Canada. And it's been so long. And I think Pigs Creek deserves a race. Pigs Creek has been relying on the entire super speedway division. I think we've only hosted races here in the super speedway division. And this is our send off. Just like Dental Park. Dental Park is another track that has relied on this series. Although we have run other series. But the Super Speedway Division is the one to look out for. So D Dental Park. Um, Pigs Creek. Possibly even more. Bump Draft and Super Speedway. We're supposed to go there for race number 6. But we'll push it. Uh, we push it uh, ahead. Just a bit. So we're going to share the entire weekend. The Walmart series, the Reese's Rookie series, they'll never, or Super Sweet Series, will never leave each other. Except for the one weekend. Here we go, green flag. It's on. It's a very wide racetrack. It's a long, wide racetrack. That's why there's not a lot of laps. 1 minute 20 seconds was qualifying for these guys. See a lot of passing, just like Dental Park. It's a wide race track. You're gonna see drivers probably from 15th to first within the first two corners. Well, maybe not one on the restart, but you know, careful, careful. Plenty of room, plenty of room. They're gonna wreck, are they? They're just leaning against each other. Once again to the corners, they should separate, separate, separate. They're not separating. Seven wide. Look at the 56. Already pushed to the front. Where'd he start? 21st. 21st to first. My god, and here comes the 98. But you quickly lose the lead. 21st to first. Only at Pigs Creek. And maybe not the park, but mostly Pigs Creek because it's such a wide racetrack. It's crazy. And look at this. Can it complete the first lap under green? The 62, I believe, who's still the points leader, leads the first lap. So that's five bonus points towards the 62 car truck. There's a 91, 92, 36, 31. I'm surprised they haven't wrecked yet, but. Oh, baby. Alright, just to separate just a little bit. Oh, wait, the 94! Uh, there they go. So that definitely bring out the caution. We'll race it back to the line. Side by side for the race lead. Okay, 5 to the middle, 42 to the bottom. Seventy one. Eighty five on the outside trying to get a run here. The eight truck goes up outside to the middle. Trying to put the block. Side by side still. Who's gonna get it? Eighty five has a small advantage. And coming to the line, it will be the forty two. And look at the eight shoot through the middle. He almost got it. 
So first caution of the day, the 42 truck is the race leader and we'll take a look at the replay. Well, I didn't expect him to wreck like that. Here's the 94. Did he go up? Or the 82 went down? The 82 went down, Chris Kyle. He hooked him on the right rear, thought he was clear, ends up causing a big wreck. Well, actually it wasn't that big, but still, a wreck. Multiple trucks involved, 39, 91, 81, a lot of damage on those trucks. But most of them just drove away. Thanks to the restrictor plate, probably lets them uh, saw down a lot better. But we had no plates, these guys were probably going like, what, 240 miles an hour? And that would have been real bad. But there's a the first caution of the day, not a major wreck. We'll take you back to the restart. Get set for the restart here, 39 and the 91 are out of the race. Now, because of the size of the racetrack, the pace lap's only one lap. So we're going to get green. Right now. Like, there's no reason to go around the track three times. It's a 4.1 mile super speedway. And I know Road America is about 4.1 miles, but... It seems a little bit more um, longer at an oval than it is on a road course. Because I guess you expect it on a road course. It's going to be long until they tick the green. Now they still got some time. Look at the pace lap speed. 110. Wow. So the pace truck pulls in. Here we go as we get set for the restart. Most likely this track will never be raced again, just like Dental Park. And the green flag's out, here we go. So this is, well, they still got two more races. I think. I gotta check back. Let's see if the other two series actually ran here. I think they did. Of course they did, what, what, what am I saying? So yeah, two, of them, two more races. Pigs Creek. Seneca Super Speed was retired a long time ago. Like very long, I think four years ago. Had a little farewell race. But this is our farewell race. And the 53, who had a clutch problem at Talladega, now about to try to take the race lead, but without any help. Here comes a two on the bottom. Almost at the halfway point. Takes a long time though. Here comes a four. Seventy-one jumps to the outside. Two trucks being sponsored by Tools. No, that, that's about it. That's all I got. Now look at the fifty-six. Okay, where'd he go? I just saw him. Did he go down pit road? Did he? I don't know. Yes, yes he did. He did go down pit road. So problem with the 56 car Alex in a row. And look at this. Oh man. Eight wide. Eight wide! Oh there they go, there they go. Careful, careful for oncoming. Oh that's not gonna work. Never. Oh upside down he goes. Cody Smart in the 57. So big break for the 56. 62 the points leader. I, I still think yeah, he's got he's still the points leader, I believe. Oh, but I'm most likely wrong. His truck is destroyed. No race back to the line. 38. 38 of Jack Legacy. He has taken the race lead. Let's see if he can hang on. The 3 and the 88, the 7, they're on the bottom line. 3 wide, 3 wide. 3 wide shouldn't be an issue here. We shouldn't be even mentioning mentioned about three wide racing. Oh, trouble! Oh, and there they go again. And two more trucks upside down. More, more trouble. Saw the 53 go up and over. That's the nine truck tumbling down into the grass. Big wreck. Two big ones on opposite ends of the racetrack. 99 up in smoke. And coming to the line and about to reach the halfway point. Seven or three. It will be the seven. Seven at the line. Caution flag is out. We'll take a look at the replay. I was hoping they would just beat and bang and that's it. But they just couldn't keep it smart into the 24. Just one Talladega. Now Legacy, we saw him just flip over. 
in 3 and 4, these guys crash in 1 and 2. Everything seemed alright, they had some room, they had good enough amount of room. And right there, wasn't that big of a wreck until the other guys came in. 92 gets swept, the 8 just gets clipped, the 85 just barely touches the wall. And a 33, 31 just runs into the back, there's a 62. And Cody Smart goes sliding down to the banking and onto the apron, from the track to the apron. Oh, every awkward flip too. You, know, well, you only see that at uh, tracks with, uh, with this much banking. Goes upside down, does a few rolls. See, there's these 31, 62, up in smoke. Their truck's definitely destroyed. Coley smart. It spun around, I did a full spin. And then the truck just tipped right over. And Orius in the 72. He got some of that from the uh, 62 truck. Then we move up ahead with the 9 of Al Legacy. Go oh, did make some contact, but then more contact. The 1, much bigger wreck, of course. A little more fast forwarding. Right around here. See the 1. Those are contact. Uh, yes, maybe. No. I don't know. How it started. Yeah, did he go too close? Did one come go down and took him out? Well, that's taking a long time. Then goes up. Oh, on the one, he hooks Derek Edison in the 53. And that was probably unexpected. A lot more speed and nine. Wow. There's Derek Edison. He goes over only once. Our Al Lacassie truck tips right over and he goes for a wild one. You see 99 nowhere to go. Goes into the grass, but luckily the way he got into the grass, I guess. Yeah, it stopped it from going even more, going tumbling even more. So that's our second yellow of the day. Two big crashes out the opposite end of the racetrack. We'll take you back to the restart. Lights are already off. Here we go. Getting ready. 25, 26, 27, 27 trucks remaining. However, these two are still on the on pit road, so they're still considered on the racetrack. 20 something wrong to 20? I don't think so. Well, he's only he's only going 92 miles an hour. He should be catching up. Okay, yeah, there's probably something wrong with the 20 truck. Wow, wait, actually take a look at this. Spectator view. Wow, what a view. If a track if this track was real and you're sitting on the back straight away, what like ovals you tendly you could just see the entire racetrack, but not here. There's like a whole row of trees just blocking your view, you can't see nothing. Well well it's a pretty big track and I don't think you could see much anyway, so but that's crazy. So anyone's pulling out of line, most likely will follow the pace truck to pit, pit road. Tony has a problem with his truck, he's trailing back, might be doing the same. So the 7, the race leader, Dave Davison, Jeff Bright, Tony Green, Jack Legacy, that's your top 5. Restarting with 4 laps to go, green flag is out, here we go, can we make it? Actually, like, well, it's one lap pace lap, so we do have time for another caution. Tony Green in the 88, looking on the bottom. Hillary Sanchez in the 66, coming to help. Nope. Gonna make another line. Here comes Fisher. He's gonna try to make a four wide. Yeah, not a lot of trucks left in the pack, so yeah, most likely we'll keep it green and clean. But could be wrong here. So here goes Jack Legacy in the 38. He is now the new race leader. Sanchez in the 66. Uh, will the four come and help? Oh, he's deciding, and oh, there he goes. Now he goes. Tony Green in the 88, second place. He's cleared. 83 looks like it has some damage on the back end, but still fast.
Okay, there we go. So now those guys are officially out of the race. Here goes Green in the 88. Won't wait the lap. Three laps to go. Three laps. Tony has, yeah, he does have an issue here. 165. So meters are going 20 miles an hour faster than him. And he's stuck in the third gear, too. Eli Bright in the 30, he's just right behind this pack. I think he's he could get there. And there's Alexander Rowe. That caution saved him big time as he's back in it. Currently in 11th. And the 30 trucking, trying to catch up. He's probably just going just as fast. Yes, he is, so. Died another truck to our pack. So there's 12 trucks here racing for the win. 42, Jeff Bright looking inside. Alex in a row to win a race, right? He won Ontario. So he'll look for his second. Most of these guys are looking for their first. Here they come. Two laps to go. Two remaining. Jeff Bright at the line. Nice close-up shot right here. And, whoa, no. Caution. Caution flag is out. And looks like we're going to overtime. Well, looks like I was wrong. Well, let's take a look at the replay. Well, you're not going to believe what the caution's out for. It's for the 24 truck. That's why we have the camera on him. But did he wreck? Did he... What happened? Well... Nothing. Truck just shut off. And he stopped on the back straightaway. And that ends up bringing a caution out with two laps to go. So it looks like the officials are uh, trying to make something happen here. They decide to throw a yellow out. It's a four mile racetrack. It's wide enough for these guys to go possibly 15 wide. And we get a caution for a truck running all alone. Stops on the back straightaway. Yeah, one truck passes him. Another truck passes him. And somewhere around here, that's when the yellow comes out. Now, where is the leader? It's 84. There he is. Now, they may argue, well, there's still some trucks coming, like the 84, 71, and 72. And maybe the 20. Here's the leaders. Well, looks like the cautions already came out. You can already tell by the speed. But, yeah, these guys are already in 1 and 2, but no way. Well, you could just see the leaders there, and there's a 24. But, no way they would have caught him. He would have already been parked in the pit road and it would have been done. But he could have just stayed on the apron, but most part there's no apron. There's grass. Because he didn't want to go on the grass, go down the hill, possibly flip the truck over. But caution for this. Well, uh, so much for uh, throwback. I remember back in the days, stuff like this always happens. Well, we get, uh, when there were no overtimes and there were no green white checkers, but now we have green white checkers in overtime. But, uh, the officials are they're trying to be all sneaky and, and stuff. Trying to force an overtime for the last Reese's Super Speed Race at, uh, that Pigs Creek. We'll take a look at the results, then we'll reset the field, and, yeah, you know what happens. Overtime. No, you're not going to believe this either. Uh, something happened. 98 broke a camshaft. Jeff Bright is somehow two laps down. And, uh, yeah, so. I don't even know what happened. They crashed somehow. Did they crash? Yeah, they crashed. 56, 83, they're. Oh, I don't even know what's going on. Well, it's gonna screw up the lineup big time. We gotta take a look. They stacked up. They stacked up. Okay, let's do a little fast forwarding here. Okay, 98, he's already pulled out, so he's probably not part of anything. But, wait, how did it... Was that the 24? Yeah, that was the 24, but they missed him. 
I didn't accelerate or anything. Oh, God damn it. What the hell? Oh, he. Oh, wolf. Wow, he. Truck just blew up while leading. And he just decided to smack the pit, pit roll roll. Okay, that explains the damage. The 85 uh, crashed uh, earlier because of a stack up. Jeff Bright didn't crash from the stack up. But what happened to the other two? I don't know. 85, that, they're, they're 85 and stuck. Truck is stuck. Well, they'll get their laps. Well, no, no, they won't. Uh, no, 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 anyone is lapped? Okay, so that explains everything. So, uh, how many trucks restarting? Uh, 21. 21 trucks restarting. Jeff Bright, we just saw him up in smoke. 85, 90, 98, 85 crashed, got stuck. 24 had a problem, so. So anyone who's out of the race, that is the that's their official results. So and uh, yeah, we'll reset the field and take you to the res to the restart. Here we go, overtime. Here at Pigs Creek Super Speedway, pace truck is in. The last two laps, these trucks will be running at this racetrack. Maybe, maybe not, but most likely not. Not gonna run no more. Let's make it a good one. Here we go. Green flag, we're back underway. Two laps to go. Well, not yet. Okay, two laps to go. There goes the three, Dave Davison. Four, Fisher in the, in the inside. Jack Legacy. He'll take it all the way to the bottom. Fisher in the four getting a push from the 88. They're making it four wide. Dexter Black in the bottom. Jack Legacy in the middle. Dave Davidson in the higher middle and Fisher all the way to the top. Big shove from Tony Green. He's able to cut to the bottom and clear him. Not quite. Here comes Dexter Black in the two. And there's the 84 who was trailing from before. Mitchell Collins pushing him, Chris Collins the 82, Noodles in the 71, Kalen in the 5, they're all coming back. So overtime saved them, all thanks to one truck stopping on the back straightaway. Gives them another chance to win this race. Things are getting tight, really tight. Coming to the white flag. White flag is out one more time around. They're four, five, six, seven, eight wide. No one can lead an entire lap. No way. Not here. Oh, Fisher almost he almost got turned. 71 being pushed. How long would that lead last for? He tried to go to the top, the block. Can't do it. Side by side. 71, 61. Or no, 66. The whole pack of cars. Trucks behind. No contact. More contact. Oh, no, there they go. There they go. Eli Bright in the middle. Sanchez in a 66, here comes a 5. Big run for the 30. All the way to the top, getting a big shot from the 66. Like he's going to do it. It's going to be win number 2 right here. Checkered flag is out. He cuts to the bottom. And he's going to win it. Checkered flag. He wins at Pigs Creek Super Speedway. Oh, what a move out of 30. He went from bottom to top. Got the... I don't know if you can hear that, but some crazy motorcycle just interrupted me. And we had a big wreck, and once again, another last lap crash. This series is wild. This track is wild. I was surprised they were able to make it through one lap. Take a look at the uh, full race results, and we'll take a look at the crash. So Eli Bright wins it. Noodles second. Sanchez third. Anderson fourth. Ori is fifth. Kyle sixth. Fisher seventh. Kaylin 8th, Alexander Rowe 9th, 
and Tim Randolph 10th. And of course, let's take a look at the wreck that happened in turn 4. You see the 41, he's just out of line. He's actually pushing the 30, pushed the, the 30 to, the vic to victory. He's trying to make some middle line work. He's pushing on the left side in the corner. Slight contact, gone into the 20, gone to the 30. Oh, what a save by the 30 truck. What a f crazy way to win a race. Or maybe not the craziest, but wow. He's bouncing between trucks at 190 miles an hour. And comes home and takes home the checkered flag. And Dave Davidson, he just runs to the back of the 84. The wreck was pretty crazy, but you see how the 30 was sideways? I thought the leaders were going to wreck. Oh, oh, shit. I thought they were going to wreck for sure. Look at this. There's the first hit. I caught him just a little bit out of shape, but that's okay. Then there's the second hit. That's alright still. And then there's the third hit, and I thought he was going to clip that 71. And they were going to go, but he did a real good job saving that truck. He had no help, too, once they wrecked. Oh, wait. Okay, no, I was going to the hell, that just confused me. But, yeah, Eli Bright takes home win number two. He was on the outside. He, it was a clear Sanchez. Got to the outside, just squeezed to the top. That was a, that was a real smart move by the, by the 30 truck. Because those guys, they, they didn't want to work with each other. They know Sanchez will be boxed in and has no choice push him to the front and that's what won him the race that's a veteran move right there so Eli Bright winning it here at Pigs, uh, Pigs Creek uh, Super Speedway will now take you to victory lane oh wait there is no victory lane but yeah yeah Eli Bright your race winner here at Pigs Creek well there's no victory lane celebration no, I'll show you never mind as well let's go back to the classics when there's no victory lane because there is no um What's that called? The wind, whatever. Never mind. So, uh, yeah, we'll show you the point standings now.